Hi, I'm Marilyn Suttle, keynote speaker, customer service expert, and success coach. And I'm here to give you some ways to lift up your spirits. You work so hard and your work matters. And I can imagine there's got to be a level of frustration watching all the memes going on in social media, watching the news. People are at home eating ice cream and binge watching shows while you are working so hard and under such stressful situations. So I thought I would come in and share three really workable tips that you could do very quickly because I know you don't have a lot of time. So let's start with the first tip. And that's a tip that has to do with when you're working with patients and residents. The tip is this, reframe difficult behavior. Oh, I know most of your patients and residents are probably really nice. <laughs> and there are those that are not so nice. They're, they're scared. They're stressed. And so it could be very demotivating, especially when you're working so hard. So one way to alleviate that and lift up your spirit is to look for the positive in their negative behavior. So look for the positive in their negative behavior. This is what it would look like. Somebody who's being demanding is somebody who's willing to ask for what they want. Somebody who's cold and this is my big trigger. When somebody's cold, uh, it can trigger me. So I will reframe cold as this is somebody who's slow to warm up and trust people. Now, my heart closes with the cold person, but my heart opens up with the person who takes time to establish trust. So you will actually lift up your spirit if you just shift your thinking about that negative behavior and find the positive quality. The second tip for today has to do with you and your self-care. And here's the tip. Savor pleasant moments. Savor them. Savor is like to enjoy. Enjoy. Be in joy when you're eating a donut. You know, typically when people are eating a donut, they're, they're criticizing themselves. Oh, I shouldn't be eating this. This is adding calories. Or they're thinking about the next thing they have to do that's stressful. But if you could be in the moment and enjoy the deliciousness of that donut, I mean, you decided to eat it, you might as well be present and savor the taste, savor the smell of the coffee, savor the feel of your pillow. And the reason this is so helpful is because it gives you more pleasure time. You know, when something bad happens, it can stick to us like Velcro. It's so uncomfortable. And we spend a lot of our time focused on what's not working. But when you can savor the small pleasures that are working, you lift up your spirits and give it at least seven seconds to really saturate in and enjoy. The third tip has to do with your peers and coworkers. And that lift up your spirit tip is this, express appreciation. What I notice when I'm working with clients is that when I'll ask teams, what do you most want from your coworkers? They say, I want to be appreciated. I want somebody to say thank you. I want somebody to notice what I'm doing. And nobody wakes up in the morning and says they get enough appreciation. So when you give and express appreciation, it's a funny thing. It feels good for them, but it feels good for you. It can actually lift up the entire environment. In, in, the, in the room at the time. So while you're expressing appreciation, don't forget to appreciate yourself for all the hard work you do. I want you to remember how much you matter and how many people are praying for you, thinking so many positive thoughts for you. So if you could take away three quick tips to lift up your spirits is to reframe difficult behavior, savor pleasurable moments, and express appreciation. Thank you so much for what you do.